Okay, what's up, everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G -G 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 Virus. And this right here, this right here is another Let's Play featuring the wonderful, the fantastic, the amazing HD remake of Resident Evil Remake. It's always funny saying a title for this thing. I don't even know what to officially say. I guess that's the closest you can. The HD remaster of Resident Evil Remake. There you go. And this Let's Play is going to be a little different. I've already done this Let's Play twice for Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. I've done Chris and Jill scenarios. But this time I'm going to attempt to do a knife-only run of Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. Which will give me a trophy. So I'm going to attempt to do a knife-only run, and I've done a knife-only run on other Resident Evil games in the past, mainly and only the original, original Resident Evil. I'm talking about before the remake, before the HD edition, the original one on PlayStation 1 with blocky graphics and terrible, terrible voice acting. I'm talking about that one that is currently on my channel. Feel free to check that out before or after you watch this. I, 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 I knocked out a playthrough of Resident Evil original a long time ago, knife-only, and that one was practiced. I sat back on my own and figured out the best strategies, the best routes, the best times to fight, the best times to run, you know, how to conserve my uh, health just right and all that, how to fight bosses and all that with the knife. It took a lot of practice and, 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 and a lot of focus and concentration for me to be able to beat the game like I did back then, knife only. A lot of practice, and I did it soundly too. I believe it was seven videos, 25 minutes each, beat it pretty quickly. But it was a lot of practice and a lot of work. With that being said, what we're doing here is a bit different. I'm going to go into this without any practice, unrehearsed. Don't know how to do it, don't know if I can do it, don't know the best strategies for knife fighting, don't know how to... You know, take enemies down, don't don't know how to fight any of the bosses, don't know, you know, the best strategies or routes if I'm, you know, because when you're using a knife, you have to play the game a little bit different. You have to run away a lot, avoid enemies a lot, pick your battles, and I don't know the best times to do that because this is totally unrehearsed. So, you could just call me a glutton for punishment, but well, you know, I know the fans out there of Let's Plays and Survival Horror Let's Plays, they like to see, you know... They like to see blood, you know, they like to see a struggle, they like to see somebody suffer, and that's what's going to happen right here. I'm going to be suffering. I don't even know if I can pull this off. So the goal is to beat this knife only, without unrehearsed, no strategy guides, no help, none of that. So this could take a very long time, this could be a very long series, <laughs> but I'm ready for it. Let's take a look at the trophy. I know there are special requirements. For this trophy, it's not just totally knife only. I mean, it's knife only, but there's a little bit extra with it. I believe the trophy is called CQC for the win. And here it is. Finish the game using only your knife. No lighter, no defensive items, and no stomping zombie heads. For those not in the know, when they say no lighter, they mean uh, you can dispose of bodies in this game. Because once you kill a zombie, if you have not destroyed a zombie's head, he will come back to life more aggressive and tougher and faster and all that shit. So with the lighter, you can set them on fire so they don't come back. So let's say I knife a zombie to death, and I beat him, and he's dead. He's, gonna, he's just going to be lying there for maybe about an hour or two. Then he will rise back up, and he'll be a crimson head. That's what they're called when they rise back up. And he will be after me much stronger and much aggressive. So this means... And any enemy I kill with that knife, I can't dispose of their body with the lighter, which means I'm going to have a lot of crimson heads running after me, which is tough because I imagine fighting the crimson head with the knife only is next to impossible. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I think my best option for fighting is to just avoid everybody. So no defensive items as well, meaning I can't, um, if I get grabbed, a defensive item will like keep you from getting bitten. It's like, it's, it's like, uh, a get out of jail free card. If you get grabbed, you'll 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 use your knife or your taser or a grenade to get free and not take any damage. I can't use any of those, and I can't stomp heads. That means when a zombie's on the ground, they will grab you sometimes, and you will stomp their heads, basically killing them, kind of like an, in an easy way. All of those things will negate the trophy. So I could, you know. It, if the trophy didn't work that way, I could just use the knife and just burn bodies to avoid crimson heads and use my defensive items and stomp heads as long as I'm only using the knife, right? But no, it doesn't work that way. So that makes things a bit tougher. I don't know how this will go for me, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Wish me luck. Let me go ahead and load up my, my, my most recent 
save file with this game, which should be the last time I played it, was with you guys when I was finishing up my, no, it was my Chris run. Oh, no, I loaded the wrong thing. It's my Chris, my Chris run was the last time I played this. So let me load that up. I think I'll do <sighs> once again mode, but I think once again, the fuck, I didn't want to load that. Once again, mode will, will 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 feature one dangerous zombie, which will be another. I didn't I didn't want to load this. Yeah, I might I might cut this out. No, I didn't want to load this. But one dangerous zombie features um Brad. No, not Brad. Forrest, a fallen team member from Bravo Team, will be running uh, around the the, ma the mansion after you as a zombie. Except he'll have grenades strapped to his chest. And if you shoot him, which I can't do anyways, because I'll be using the knife only, I can't do any shooting, he will blow up. But that kind of creates a problem. Oh, man, should I put this on? I'm putting this on normal. Fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. That would be upping the deck too much would be to put it on hard. Maybe I should put it on hard. I got to do normal. The deck is already stacked too much against me. Resident Evil. But yeah, like I'm saying, Forrest is going to add... Oh, fucking hell! All right, sorry about that, guys. I accidentally clicked Chris. We're not going as Chris. We're going as Jill. And I can already tell by how jittery I am that I'm going to have a hard time with this. I'm a little nervous to do this. Well, you know, I figure, you know, I like to offer up a little bit of different, you know, a little bit of variety to my Let's Plays, make things really difficult for myself. I've said this before. I like to increase the difficulty or give myself special stipulations if it's a game that's been played, that's been Let's Played a lot by others and is really popular. I'll try to add some extra flavor to it to make it more interesting, but I'm going to go ahead and do it with Jill in her BSA outfit. This will be the first time I use any of the new outfits or anything like that on Let's Play or just in general. I haven't used any of them. So we're going to go ahead and do Jill, which again stacks the deck up against me a little bit more because Jill can take, can't take as much damage as Chris. And I don't even think her knife swings are as powerful. You know, I think her swings are like pokes or something, like little stabs. Where Chris actually swipes at you, but whatever. I want to look at Jill's ass, so that's that. But anyways, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. It's going to be a lot of feeling, a lot of, you know, I've played this game a lot. So I'm hoping that that will help me get around a lot of this stuff. But I'm most likely going to put a death count on here and all that good shit. So here we go, uh, unrehearsed. I haven't played this game in a while, so, you know. Let's get let's jump into it. Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. Knife only. CQC for the win. I'm gonna leave in all the cutscenes too, just in case this is the first time you're checking out any of my playthroughs. But uh, let the horror begin. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. I'm actually very excited to do this we let's play right here for the other just members. to get down to the nitty gritty and just and slug it out with this game a, a and just really get the gears turning on how to you know beat certain parts it's going to be kind of annoying to see parts that i could easily breeze through if i could use a weapon or for that matter a defensive item or, or you know the lighter but i'm willing to hang in there the only parts i'm concerned about maybe some boss fights i think if i maneuver correctly around things, I should be fine. I'm 
also concerned about accidentally using a defensive item or stomping ahead by accident, but I'll be saving, so I'll be able to just reload if that happens. Because the last thing I want is to make it through this game thinking, oh, I did it knife only, yeah, and accidentally, you know, not get the trophy because I fucking fucked up and stomped ahead and didn't realize it or used a defensive item and didn't realize it, forgot or something. It'll be easier not to set things on fire because you got to go into the inventory and do all that. I got to set the uh, the defensive items to manual for sure. And a stomping hands is probably the only one I might accidentally do because it's like if you just happen to walk by an enemy's head while he's on the ground, he's going to grab you Come on. and stomp your head. But unless I forget, I'll just reload. Here's hoping I don't forget. Shit. If I forget, if I don't notice it and you guys see it, please tell me so I can reload that part and not get screwed out of a trophy. Yes. Chris, this way. Barry's gun is so loud. Everyone else's gun is like pew pew pew, and Barry's just like. Alright, guys, we're in there. I know some of you who have seen my Let's Play of the Chris and Jill scenario are probably like, oh, we gotta sit through the cutscenes again, but you know. There are only three stars. New people might be checking now. this out, you know. Captain this might West be somebody's Coast first Let's Play of Resident himself. Evil remake we don't that they're watching, so I gotta put that into consideration and leave in the cutscenes. It's not like there's a lot. This isn't Larry what Six is or something. This place? Oh, Jill looks awesome. Not quite your ordinary house. Well, I gotta turn the subs back sure. on. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find. What was that? Chris? No. Yes. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right, you two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Not a problem. Jill looks so snazzy right now. I love it. She's got two handguns. <gasps> I'm pretty sure we we don't come with an extra handgun, do we? <clears throat> That's gonna look real stupid if she runs out of bullets. Like, like if I was playing this and she ran out of bullets, yeah, she has another a gun on her thing. on her hip right there. All right, let's do this. First things first. Let me go ahead and um, turn on the subs. I think it's no, it's in display. Turn on the subs for you guys. Okay, it's not there either. Hey, where's it at? It should be in display. Brightness? No. Audio. How do I turn on the damn subs? Oh, maybe I should have did it. Fuck's sake, maybe I should supposed to do it on the main menu. Can't turn on the subs from here. That's some bullshit. Right. Oh fuck, I gotta reload this. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I turned the subs on. Couldn't do it from the game, which is ridiculous, but okay. First things first, get rid of the handgun. Arm ourselves with the knife. I wonder if she runs as fast as she does without a weapon with the knife. Feels like it. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? It's blood. Blood. And we're going to be spilling a lot of our own blood throughout this playthrough, for Jill. God's sakes, man. See if you can find Spill any other <laughs> clues. I'll be examining this. Jill, you're going to get effed up in this Chris's. playthrough. I'm sorry. I'm going to do my best. But your pretty little frame is going to be riddled full of bite marks by the end of this shit. I'll tell you that, man. Fuck. Okay. So, I'm thinking the best plan of attack to be honest, is to just not even fight anything, just run for my life. With that being said, this first idiot right here, we're not even gonna bother to kill him. We don't need to check the body either that he's nibbling on because he's just gonna have a file on him. I'm not gonna read any files, so at least you guys won't have to sit through that again. I actually read files for Chris and Jill's playthrough on my last two plays of this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna subject you guys to the file reading again. Just the cutscenes, that's all. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! 
Let me take care of it. That zombie's actually gonna get back up from taking like three magnum rounds to the what face. The hell is this which thing? is BS, because a I magnum can pop a head from a, on a zombie thing. in one shot. Let's report this to Wesker. Alright, man, I gotta make sure I don't accidentally use any of that shit they told me not to use. I think I can equip. Well, I have no choice. They start you off with a handgun. I think it won't go against you if you just have a weapon like a handgun or a shotgun equipped, right? That would make no sense. That would negate the whole thing from the bat, because she starts out with one. It does look cool to see Jill wearing Wester! that outfit, though. Jill, help me look for On Resident Evil 5, that was my favorite version of Jill to use for mercenaries. Is this BSAA Jill. I used to tear people up with uh, she, her her melee attack, where she would poke you with the knife or what. I, I I miss Resident Evil 5, man. I haven't played that game in a long time, but out of all the games, the newer generation of Resident Evil games, I miss that one the most, man. I don't know what it is. I haven't played that shit in so long. Oh, come on! I gotta, I gotta come out the other way. I don't know why it does that. You gotta come out this way from searching to trigger the cutscene. Or from upstairs. Which is weird. Barry. Any luck, Jill? That ass. Nothing. Oh, holy What's going God. On here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Barry. Chris and Look at this Wesker. ass. It's something, not isn't much it? We can do. We can search for him separately. I'll oh, investigate man. the dining room again. Okay, then. As plump as ever, Jill, as plump side. as ever. <sighs> this the HD is gigantic. doing that ass good. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna go with my usual routes for this game. I'm gonna go back through the dining room and I may need it. get Listen, the uh, arrowhead and then go to the graveyard and do all that. Got it? But okay. just one thing will be different is I'll just be dodging everybody. I'm gonna try to make use of the analog control for this because the analog kind of kind of breaks the game a bit because the game wasn't necessarily meant to be played with full control over your character. I can just turn around like that and do shit like this. You're not supposed to, you know, with the tank controls, which I'm currently using right now, the directional pad, you're not supposed to be able to move like that. You see, like if I push back, she backs up slowly, but if I push back on the analog, she turns fully around. So that's kind of an advantage. So I could probably like dash away from zombies real quick, but then again, I haven't necessarily mastered using the joystick for evading, which could possibly end up in me getting my ass kicked or grabbed. But uh, I remember back in the days on this game, I was pretty good with dodging people with just a directional pad on the GameCube. But I don't know if I... It's been a long time since I was quote-unquote pro-level status with Resident Evil Remake. You know? So I don't know if I can do that anymore. My best bet might just be to use the joystick for evading and try my hardest not to get grabbed. But yeah, it's going to be weird not picking up all this ammo. It's going to feel bad. There's some bullets right there I'm just forgetting about. But at least Jill runs fast with the knife. Faster. Should have plenty of inventory space since I'm just not going to have any weapons except for the knife or ammo, so... Picking up health should not be a problem. It's going to be essential to my survival as well that I get every single health item this game has to offer. For fuck's sake! Has to offer. Here we go. Nope, don't care. Where's this idiot at? Oh shit. Uh, uh, there we go. I was using the... The analog stick for that. Alright, this might not be so bad. Uh, yeah. So far, off to a good start. Where is he? Where's Forrest? He should be here. Huh, where's Forrest? When does he get introduced? It might not be on. I mean, I remember unlocking it with Chris on Chris's playthrough, but. I don't know, I don't remember when he shows up. Maybe he shows up later. I know when he does finally show up, he'll be in this room. Right here, above the dining room. Running around, shambling towards us. 
trying to eat us, our fallen partner. Might as well knock that down there, get that into place. I don't know, I think that gives me bullets though. I don't think I even need to mess with it. I know one of them, one of those jewels gives you bullets when you plunk it down into the tiger statue. But I'm not sure which one. If it's if it's the blue jewel, which I just knocked down to the bottom of the dining room, or if it's the red or yellow jewel, that gives bullets. But either way, we'll find out. Waste our time if necessary. And let this guy get on the stairs. Just run past him. He can't grab me on the stairs. There's bullets over there by that zombie, but no need to go over there because we don't need bullets. It's gonna save me a lot of time too, not seeking out bullets. Yeah, I don't think this will be too bad. I think there'll just be some 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 areas that'll just be ridiculously frustrating. Some boss fights that I'm very worried about. Uh, it'll be funny. It'll be interesting to see me figure it out to the best of my ability. These idiots are going to be standing by the stairs right here. And I can't see them. Could possibly get grabbed right here. Who knows? I can't see where they're at. Could run right into one of their arms. They could not even be in front of me right now. Who knows? This could be my perfect opportunity to run, but I can't tell. Sounds like they're close. The fuck? Come on! Show yourself. Come on. Oh, shit! He should be turning around. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that one over there didn't even bother to come after me. He's just in la-la land. He's rethinking his outlook on life or something. Alright, not too bad. So far, so good. Still haven't gotten bitten. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and examine this book. I think we need to go get the dog whistle. Go outside and... Yeah, Mansion Key. Book of Curses, we don't need to read. It feels so good to not have to read any files. I usually always read the files just for the hell of it, you know? For a complete experience. Uh, let's go get that whistle. Damn, Jill's ass looks stunning. This, this, uh, those, those, those gray pants she's got really, uh, compliment her buttocks quite well if I do say so myself hey there buddy I probably could have ah uh, I could have I could have ran past him right there there was enough room fucking shit using the direct uh, joystick now ah. hold on first time getting grabbed which reminds me let me go ahead and make this that's already manual Oh, yeah. Good shit. Okay. One time getting grabbed. She's, Jill should still be in green. In green health. She should be fine. But some of these zombies are going to be a problem. And like I said, there's no point in killing them because they'll just come back worse. Nope, nope, nope. I might kill them later on towards the end, like when I'm about to leave them. I don't know. I'm just not going to kill anything. That's the best that's the best plan of attack, to be honest. Just to not kill anything. <clears throat> Feels weird using the directional pad though directional buttons because I'm used to using uh, the joystick for my last two let's plays of this game I was using the joystick that left analog control so it feels like I'm doing something wrong and I don't like it um yeah so I think this might be our introduction to one dangerous zombie forest oh no nope, no nope, no nope, he's here I thought he was gonna be in the area outside the next room so yeah he's got he's got a grenade strapped to him 
And uh, if we shoot him, I wonder if I knife him, will he explode? <laughs> so he, yeah, he's he's quite the pest. He'll show up throughout random rooms in the mansion. I mean, it's not random, like it's scripted areas he shows up in, but you know. I thought he was gonna show up here. He's gonna be trying to beat down this door right here, trying to get in after me, but. Oh man, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> Ah, uh, man, I gotta, I gotta knife these damn dogs. And there's two of them. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, hell no, Jill. Get that shit out of here, girl. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, fuck. I'm about to die right here. <laughs> Thank God for this bushel of herbs right here. I'm gonna need that shit. For fuck's sake. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be bad. Oh, man, I'm already hurting. Ugh. Oh. Uh, 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 let, me, let me go into this with full health. Uh, uh, fuck off! That's bullshit! Oh, I hope the other one stays back. Oh, come on, Jill! Get it off of you! Oh, I hope the other one stays back. He's not even in the picture. Get the fuck off! Son of a bitch. Look at that. thing grabs you so quick. Alright, let's see the health. Let's see the health. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm sweating so bad right now. Hurry up, Jill. Take that shit. About to use all three uses right here. I'm, I'm happy the other dog isn't after me, though. That's, that's a break. If I can't capitalize on the fact that the other dog isn't after me, then I suck. Off me. This is bullshit. This is gonna be horrible. Well, this is the only time I'll have to kill a dog, so let me just. Oh shit! Oh, I thought the other one was coming. Oh, this is bullshit. I think Chris would have a bit of an easier time swiping at these dogs. Oh, good lord. Oh. Well, the other one didn't come. There's supposed to be two dogs. I'm not complaining. Fuck it. I'm sure he's over there. But I'm gonna go ahead, grab this, and go and save. And that'll do it for this part. For the first part. Man, that was rough. As soon as I start to think this might not be that bad, shit. Yeah, there he goes. What the hell's your problem, man? You missed the whole party. I'll just leave you to yourself then, man. You might be going through something. And it's like, you know what? He's trying to refigure out life. It's a depressed dog, but, you know, oh, fuck it, I'm happy. Alright, I'm very hot. Where should I go save? Let me go save this way. Because this will be more so in the area to where I need to be at when I get back, I think. Uh, I went out back into the mansion to unlock that door. I could have just came back this way. Came back to where these steps are, where the save point is, but I wanted to unlock that door. Should be a zombie coming up the stairs. He He's very easy to dodge, because on the stairs they can't grab, and... Yeah. All they can do is... That. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this first part of Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. Knife only, CQC for the win. And, uh, damn, do I have an ink ribbon? Son of a bitch, do I gotta go fetch one? I don't have an ink ribbon. Shit. Oh man. Nope, no ink, oh, right, good, 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 okay. All right, guys, when I get back, we will continue on, man. That, that, that last part of this was a little rough, but... <sighs> what can I say? Alright guys, you know the drill. If you like the video, feel free to show that and like it. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys next playthrough. Where should I say that? This is The Game Virus. Thank you for watching. See you guys next episode. Later.